Many times, a vignette will rattle off a very long list of signs and symptoms a patient is presenting with. Be on the lookout if a question mentions any deviation in pupil size. This could be a major hint in helping you get the right answer. So on that note, let's go over some of the drugs that can affect pupil size. Do you remember which receptors, when activated, cause meiosis, a decrease in pupil size, and which cause medriasis, an increase in pupil size? The muscarinic receptor M3 is found on the pupillary sphincter muscle, and when activated, causes the pupil to contract, while the alpha-1 receptor is found on the pupillary dilator muscle, aka the radial muscle, and when activated, causes the pupil to dilate. To sum up, pupil dilation is under the sympathetic pathway, and pupil constriction is under the parasympathetic pathway. Therefore, we would expect to see an increase in pupil size with drugs that either block the parasympathetic pathway, like anticholinergics, or drugs that stimulate the sympathetic pathway, like amphetamines. While a decrease in pupil size is usually due to overstimulation of the parasympathetic pathway, like in organophosphate poisoning or opioid use.